Hi, welcome back to the Indefatible. Just introduce you to Russell. Hi, Brian. Um, today, what I'd like to show you or share with you how to cover a bottle, a pen, walking stick, in very, very simple half hitching. Um, but before we start that demonstration, I'd like to just have a bit of fun with you and ask you if you know what that is. I'll give you a clue. It's off. It's very, very old and it's off sailing ships. Pretty well all of them had one of these on them. Oh, now, it. if you think you know what it is, please leave the answers in the comments box after the video. Thank you. Okay. What I'll demonstrate to you today is how to cover something like that. For this demonstration um, all you need is some super glue, some line, sellotape and a pair of scissors and you can achieve that very very simple. Now the line I use on the fine line I use bricklayers chalk line, uh, do it yourself shops not a problem to get hold of, although they do make it now in a nylon. I prefer the cotton because you can stain it um, or colour it. Um, and you can actually use any thickness of line. Right, so what we'll do, we'll start off. Um, there's all sorts of fancy ways of covering bottles, very complicated, takes years to learn. Uh, some of them Spanish whipping, but I think this and you should be able to do this after seeing the video immediately. Um, right, so I'll start off and I'll just give you a quick demonstration um, on a plain piece here. And it's called Simple Half Hitching. This is one we've just done a few minutes ago. And you can see the effect of this. Um, where it actually does a spiral round. And that spiral will continue round and round, whether it's on your walking stick or whatever. I, I did it on this. I did put a Turk's head just to brighten it up, if you like, in the centre. I just started here and I went through there to the top with ordinary chalk line. I then stained it and I think, I, I think this is probably creosote or something, but a wood stain or whatever and varnish it. Or if you don't want to stain it, you may want to colour it or you may want to just varnish it. That's the sort of effect as it starts. I'll just show you how to just start this simple half etching. All it is is putting a loop over. That's it, it's, that's as simple as that. A loop and just pull it, not too tight, but just gently. Another loop. And of course you'll get, you'll be able to speed this operation up as, as, you, as it goes on. And away we go again. Not too tight. There we go now, it's starting to form. Just keep the lays down, keep them together, and you can just start to tighten it up sli slightly. Once it's along here, you can just twist it a little bit um, to tighten it a little bit more. But to start off, just gently, and this is how quick it is. I'll just speed it up a bit and then we'll slow it down and I'll do it on different sizes for you. Um, many, many times we've covered antiques uh, with this sort of thing and people have asked, you know, how on earth is that? They really think it's so complicated and yet yeah, it's very, very easy. I'll just carry on a few more turns with this. You can see how quick that's forming. This could be on the handle of a walk and stick. Very, very good results I've seen with them. Right, so I'll just put one more on. It's no use wasting time over the same thing. Right, make sure it's all nice and flat down. You can, you can just turn it and tighten it when it's on like that. Now there, there's the effect. And you can do that from here to here. And if you look on there, that's the sort of thing how it'll come out as. 
Now what I what I like to do afterwards, and I think it's worth worth this, is before you cut anything off, you've got it nice and tight, just a bit of super glue here, and maybe just a touch if you want on each of those hitches along like that so that it, it's absolutely locked in. And then a coat of varnish, or you may want to colour that like I did with a dark or a light, and the varnish then will knit it all together and you end up with being able to put a handle on things. So let's go on to something now a little bit bigger just to, for the demonstration. It doesn't have to be, if you want to use heavier line um, that's fine. Same thing again, piece of line, sellotape and now I'll do it, I'll just start it off slow again for you. Simple half hitching. Off we go. Once you start it off, don't pull it too tight in the beginning because it can pull out here. But after that, we can just go to town now. Just bringing it forward. And then you can pull the lays together. Once it starts forming, once it's settled, you can pull these lays up tight. Just do a few more for you and then you can leave it to your own imagination what you'd like to I just there it is now forming and you can see what a beautiful pattern that puts on. I'll just do one more turn here so that you've really got, got it. It's just a loop and over and then you just give it a little nip there. And at the end of that again what I would do, especially at this piece here because you're going to cut that off. I mean, you can if you've mastered the Turk's head, you can have Turk's heads either side of them. And they usually do these on tiller arms, on barges and yachts and what have you. There's super glue, just on a touch. And there. And maybe before you do the super glue, you can either tighten it, you can see which way it's loose or tight. Just tighten it together, press it together. And there's. That's for something thicker. Now, you may want to use something with fine line. Um, this is very very good on pens and what have you, had a tremendous, again it's just sellotaped on and it's exactly the same, right, a little bit quicker probably as well <laughs> and it makes a wonderful, uh, with, if you can get some of this wax twine as well um, on a pen um, I'll just do a few so we can get the effect. Simple half itching. And you can see the spiral now starting to, to form. Um, and like I say, it doesn't take very long. And See the spiral and you can take that the full length right up along so that's that one that one we've done and I would like to show you on these are sort of things are very good I think these are by a vitamin box um, or a pill box of some sort you can actually lace that and it really does look really nice you can imagine it with colored maybe with the chalk line. Right, just before we push on, I'll just explain that when you start to half hitch, you always start at the lowest end and work up. In other words, if you start here, the lays, they start to fall off themselves. You can hold them back, but if you start off at the narrowest end and work up, for instance, in this fid, if we were gonna do the fid, I'd start here and you, 
one lay will rest on top of the next lay, the next lay, the next lay up. Um, if you start here, it does tend to be a bit unruly. It wants to fall away from itself, so you always start off at the bottom. Now, in this case here, that is an ideal bottle to, to cover that because it's got this recess here and it's so simple to fill that um, because it's locked here and locked here and all it is is you start it off again and we just pull it nice and tight remember not too tight in the beginning and because the bottle like I say it's got a recess the lays are just lying on it now I'll just nip along this a little bit fast so we can I can show you the effect of it without spending too much time on it I'm sure this is uh, lots and lots of um, you can if you wanted to as well you could stop about here and use a different colored line you can have it red, white, blue, or whatever you, whatever you'd like, wanted, um, with different different coloured lines. But you can see, you can see already now how it's forming. And all I'm doing is going over the top of the bottle like that. And we're going to go over again. And I'm going to do a slow one. need plenty of line for this but it's, it's available in the shops and you know what some particular people you know would like to um, I've done them different colors I would at there what you could do you could actually cut that now um, you could actually put the super glue on and let it dry and then cut it and then you could start again um, and have it blue white whatever let me see if I can just let this line go out and then you can see I'm starting to pull it a bit tighter now again not too tight but that way but just form it back away so that here shows the last one that we can do look at that press it all down a super glue that will spiral all the way up to here and then off and you can put your wine in whatever so they're the they're the main things I mean I'm going to leave it to your own imagination what you what you can half hitch but that's all there is to it <laughs>